Welcome to an Empower Peel video tutorial. We're looking at Google Chrome, and today we're gonna specifically in this video jump into the Chrome Web Store. Now, before I start showing you all the cool stuff you can find in the Chrome Web Store, let me show you how to even get there to begin with. So in your Omnibox, you're just simply gonna do a quick search for Chrome Web Store, and as you can see, it'll start to auto-populate. Let me just go ahead and click on there. And uh, once your search results pop up, just click on the link. Of course, you can also just go to chrome.google.com to get there faster if you already know the link. Once you get there, over on the left-hand side, you'll notice you have extensions and themes. Those of you who haven't been to your Chrome Web Store in a while, you'll notice that apps are no longer in the list here. Um, they're not uh, available here as something you would search for in the Chrome Web Store. However, if you previously had apps, you could certainly go um, to your app launcher to see any additional apps you'd, you'd included into your um uh, Chrome account, you can also go to this link that I have up here for you, Chrome um, colon forward slash forward slash apps to be able to get to your listing of apps. But again, um, you don't get to these from the Chrome Web Store or install these anymore. Um, they've always been third party individual applications and a lot of them have retained the ability to be able to log in with your Google account. So some of those benefits that we used to get with apps are still there for you. Uh, but anyway, let's go back because let's take a look at uh, extensions and themes here um, and let's talk a little bit about what extensions are to begin with. Um, I like to use quite a few extensions. In fact, one of the ones I'm using right now to make this video tutorial is Screencastify. And you see that little red dot on there because I am actually using it to record this video. Um, extensions add additional functionality to your browser. So for example, right now I'm recording this uh, video tutorial using this extension, doing something that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do without having this extension on here. So that's really nice, this feature. It allows me to be able to do something that with Chrome alone, I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have that. So again, these extensions add functionality that we otherwise wouldn't have in our navigator. These also show up as sort of like these shortcuts to be able to get to some of the features we want to be able to use uh, from, from within the applications we love um, to use the most. So for example, here, hello sign for Gmail. Um, I've got a remote for slides if I wanna activate that and use it from here without um, jumping onto a Google slide deck. Um, save to Google Drive, so whatever I'm on, let's say a document, an article, I can save directly to Drive. There's all these kinds of things you can do um, that just make it a lot easier um, to do what you do on a daily basis. So it helps with workflow for sure. All right, so let's just do a quick search here. Um, let's say you were looking for Screencastify. So you just type in Screencastify, hit enter, and it gives you the search results here. And it recognizes that it's an extension. So it let, lets you know these are extensions. Now I've already installed it, hence why you see on mine that says added. So I'm gonna click on screen recorder because I haven't done that one. Um, all you would have to do is click on add to Chrome and then this particular extension would then become available. Um, to you whenever you are logged into your Chrome account, as you see, I'm logged in um, to mine. So it would then show up up here. Um, you can obviously um, reorganize these, shift some out of view. Um, really, I like to keep the ones I use the most uh, up there. And as you can see, some of them um, are grayed out because um, either they've been um, uh, disabled or um, are some of the features that I'm not um, currently um, using. So, um, so that's the Chrome Web Store. One last thing I wanna share with you here is themes. Uh, for those of you who like to add you know, color and pizzazz, as you can see, mine's the classic gray look, but you could certainly select any one of these items here to maybe change up your colors for um, your YouTube, your YouTube, your uh, Chrome Navigator. Um, you can certainly select these others that have images and um, I really like, I used to actually have this one that would give me like a quote a day um, with an image in the background. Those were really nice. So that's that's really cool. Um, you can find those under themes. Under categories, you'll find different categories um, available to you here. Um, let me go back to extensions. Um, there we go. All right, so under categories, um, you'd be able to see, why is this just automatically going back? There we go. All right, stay there. There we go. 
All right, so categories under extensions, you can see there are things specifically created by Google. If you wanna look at those, just some fun stuff, productivity extensions, search extensions. So you've got some categories that you can purge through, especially if, you've, if you don't know what you're looking for specifically as far as like, I want Screencastify. Maybe you're just thinking, I want a video recording tool. You could certainly start by purging through these uh, categories to help you find what you're looking for. Um, okay. Uh, one other thing is if you are logged into a school account, so like a Google Apps um, G Suite slash Workspace account, um, you might actually see some different things in that you may or may not have uh, um, access to like themes, for example. Um, you may have access to only certain extensions and not, not necessarily everything. So just be mindful that you might see some differences depending on the account that you're logged into. All right, you guys, I hope uh, this uh, particular tutorial um, gives you enough info for you to be able to start utilizing and installing those extensions to help your life uh, be easier as far as productivity and, of course, creativity.